Megan is doing something really cool this morning. There's a big women's tennis uh, show going on, showdown happening this weekend in Western North Carolina. Team USA is facing Ukraine in the Billie Jean King Cup. Megan is in Asheville live this morning at the Billie Jean King Cup. Uh, good to see you, Megan. What's going on there? I love your pink. Isn't the view so cool? I hope I can stay here all weekend. Marcus, thank you so much, Jack. So glad to have you back. Okay, right now we are at Harris Cherokee Civic Center. Behind me, one of them is just walking off. The Ukraine team is kind of having a little informal practice right now. That's right, U.S. is hosting Ukraine. We're going to tell some of the stories because imagine what all they are dealing with off the court, not even on the court when it comes to playing tennis. A lot of these players had to leave their families in the midst of the crisis that is going on right now and then somehow try to focus on tennis. They're doing that, though, to help support their family. One of the players' dad said, you know, go, go focus on tennis. We're going to stay here. Whatever they make from playing tennis is obviously going to go back and, and help the family. So it's so much more than tennis, but you are going to see some amazing tennis this weekend. It all starts tomorrow. We'll kind of give you a rundown a little bit later in the show. We'll talk with the U.S. Tennis Association so they can really kind of fill us in on what's going on. There's going to be some more formal practices this afternoon. Coming up after our show, they're going to do something called a draw. Okay, if you aren't familiar with all this tennis logo, we'll take you to that too. It's basically they have five players here that will be playing each other. One person is going to get left out just because of the draw. So they're going to do the draw live and then they'll see who will be playing tomorrow. Billie Jean King, the legend, one of the best female athletes around is going to be here tomorrow. Her and her partner are actually donating $50,000 to the Ukraine relief effort. A lot of local sponsors are getting on board too. We'll talk to some of them to see why they were touched to do this. But as you can see, we got some fun tennis going on right now. This is just the practice and there's no way I could even think about returning some of these serves. It's amazing seeing it up close and personal. The spin that goes on the ball. TV sometimes doesn't do it justice. So you have time to get tickets. This doesn't start until tomorrow. Tomorrow and Saturday will be like the main event. But stay with us throughout the show. We're going to break it down more and then we'll talk to some of the organizers and we'll talk to some of the players later on. So Jack and Jamarcus. Megan, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was like, how, are you going to actually try to return one of those balls? I want to get you out there on the court. <laughs> Making a fool of myself, Jamarcus. That tennis ball is a little small for you. You're a basketball girl. We know the difference. They are not quite the same size. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, if you see Billie Jean, remind her we have an excellent tennis museum of South Carolina in Belton. Yeah. Remind her of that. And give her I'll, my best. I'll <laughs> remind her and see if she can go visit. 